Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you a neat new service called EduCandy that you can use to create simple review games or activities for your students. So you'll find it at EduCandy.com and you do have to sign up to create an account. You'll have to confirm your account with your email address. But once you've done that, you can go in and create a list of words, a list of matching pairs of words, or quiz questions. Once you've made that list, a set of games will be provided for you. So for example, let's hit words and we'll write in a list of vocabulary words that my students are studying. So we'll call this vocabulary words 2 and we'll say uh, this is for general knowledge. And now we'll create that list. So let's add a word. Let's say the word is going to be um, dog. And we'll add another one, mountain, airplane, ocean, and volcano. So, I now have my list, and if I want to add more to it, let's just add another one. We'll just go and add another list. Word to that list. Now you'll see that there are a set of games that my students can play based on that list that I gave. So, perhaps we'll go in and do word search. Hit the word search button. And it now has a word search. And that word search is available there at that link. But you can also just give your students the code to access all of these games based on that word list. So let's go back to that previous screen. And you'll see all of those activities are on one page. And you can share the activities just by giving students that link or having them use this code at educandy.com. You'll see you can also embed it into your blog post or web page. So I'm going to use that embed code, that activity code. I'll open it up in a new window. So the student will see it this way. They'll have their activity code. Paste it in. Hit the play button. And now they can pick to do a word search, a hangman, or the anagrams game based on that word list. Now let's go back in and make another activity. And you can see all the other activity options that are available there. Let's hit multiple choice. We'll see a sample multiple choice activity appear here. see that's how it is played out. Now if I go into my activities, let's create a list of matching pairs. And we'll create a list of capitals. Another one. And let's add one more in here. Now we'll see there's a set of activities based on that list that I've just created and the quiz questions work the same way. 
So let's go ahead and do quiz questions. We'll call it fun trivia. And we'll add in our question type. You do have to have at least three questions in order to use the multiple choice activities. question. So I've now added those quiz questions. You can see I can go back and edit those at any time. And we'll see there's our multiple choice trivia activity that students can play. And they'll find it by using that code at educandy.com or by using the direct link or by using the embedded version that you place on a website or on a blog post. Now if you hit my activities, You'll see all the activities that you've made in the past, and you can just hit the play button or the share button at any time when you want to use them. So that's a short overview of educandy.com, nice little service for creating short review games for your students. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.